what do you think about fairies? Have you ever seen a fairy? What do you think fairies look like? Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. This month, many, many people celebrate St. Patrick's Day on March the 17th. St. Patrick, as you may know, is the patron saint of Ireland because he brought Christianity to the ancient Irish people. But St. Patrick himself was actually born in Scotland and he was kidnapped by pirates and taken as a slave to the coast of Ireland. Now, one of the reasons St. Patrick was able to bring Christianity to the ancient Irish people was that the Irish already believed in other worlds, such as the fairy world. And so it was easy for them to believe in a God and in a heaven that they could not see. Now, both the Scots and the Irish love stories about the fairy folk. And so today's episode is actually a Scottish poem about fairies. And there's a Scottish word used in it, bairnies. Bairnies is just another word for little children. This episode is dedicated to another one of our new Unicorn Patreon subscribers, Christian from Hingham in Massachusetts. And Christian recently had a birthday on February the 15th. He turned six years old. Happy belated birthday to Christian. Thank you for being such a loyal listener. Your mum tells me that you love listening to some of our podcast episodes over and over, like Rapunzel and the Caterpillar's voice. That makes me very happy. Okay, so, now, let's stay very, very quiet. Because, you know the one thing fairies cannot bear? Noise. So... Hush, hush, and gather close. Let's take a journey with The Fairy Folk by Robert Bird. Come cuddle close in Daddy's coat Beside the fire so bright And hear about the fairy folk That wander in the night For when the stars are shining clear and all the world is still, they float across the silver moon from hill to cloudy hill. Their caps of red, their cloaks of green are hung with silver bells. And when they're shaken with the wind, their merry ringing swells and riding on the crimson moth with black spots on her wings, they guide them down the purple sky with golden bridal rings. They love to visit girls and boys to see how sweet they sleep, to stand beside their cosy cots and at their faces peep For in the whole of Fairyland they have no finer sight Than little children sleeping sound with faces rosy bright On tip-toe crowding round their heads When bright the moonlight beams They whisper little tender words That fill their minds with dreams And when they see a sunny smile, with lightest fingertips, they lay a hundred kisses sweet upon the ruddy lips. And then the little spotted moths spread out their crimson wings and bear away the fairy crowd with shaking bridal rings. Come, Bernays, hide in Daddy's coat, Beside the fire so bright Perhaps the little fairy folk Will visit you tonight Happy St. Patrick's Day And happy fairy hunting 
If this poem painted any pictures in your mind of fairies, be sure and share them with me on Instagram at Journey with Story. I hope you enjoyed this special episode dedicated to you, Christian. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story.